Oh. Let's see what I can get. Okay, so <laughs> Tin Dune, which already have E6. Fine. It's a five star. That's a five star. <laughs> okay, l let it let it be the last one. Okay, so we got we got a little way. I'm um, well, I'm happy about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wait. Yep. Shot this as well. Wow. Um. Uh, can I get lucky? Can I get even more lucky than that? I, I, I mean, the job is done. We we got a uh, blood swan, so is that cool? No, but. Um hmm. So we dropped last one. All right. Do I do for for Misha? Or do I go for her light tone? Let's go with that, I suppose. Uh, it's not going to be her light tone. But it's going to be Misha's light tone. <laughs> it's going to be Misha's four star light tone. Okay. And Natasha, another idolin for her. Well, not too bad, I suppose. Okay, I'm going to. I, I think I'm going to take those, right? <clears throat> I think I'm going to, to 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 farm to farm some more. But uh, yeah, we got black swan, so nice. Let's let's let let me let me just uh, 
appreciate in detail but yeah appreciate in detail her character but first let's see what the idol ones are for so this is e2 for natasha uh, clinical research when natasha uses her ultimate grant continuous healing for one turn to allies whose hp is at 30 percent or lower and at the beginning of the turn, their HP is restored by an amount equal to 6% of Natasha's Mutt's HP, plus 160. With this strength, I can save more lives. Thanks. Um, but um, let's see for a little way. So this is E5, so it's just uh, Ultimate in Town plus uh, 2. Living? That's all a big hustle and bustle. Hustle. Life's all about savoring the moment. Right. Over Mally's hustle and bustle. But of course, like, like I said before, the pièce de résistance is definitely Black Swan. Look. Look. Look at that girl. Seriously, Black Swan. <laughs> let, let me let me see what she's all about. Black Swan. So nihility, okay. Faction Garden of Recollection obtained today, right? Character introduction: a member keeper of the Garden of Recollection, an idol, indolent, an indolent, <laughs> and mysterious soothsayer. Remembrance of men are hers to heed. Threads of fate are hers to tug. Okay. Uh, interactive voices. Oh, intriguing name. Hmm. And a fate that's quite elusive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's the journey been? If there's something weighing you down, let me do a little divination for you. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Fear not. Unless I wipe away your memories, forgetting me is not an option. Well, I won't forget you, trust me. <laughs> I won't forget you. Mortals are bound to the perception of the tangible, failing to comprehend that it is the spirit and the spiritual that form the true essence of the cosmos. Through the grace of Fulin, we may shed our perishable forms and attain closeness to the true essence of being. Wow. So, for the grace of Fulin. Yeah, the remembrance. Right. About self, wishes. Recover those cherished recollections and enshrine them in a land of purity. In doing so, all will be preserved from true oblivion. Nice. Uh, chat. Divination methods. The dance of the stars. The silent whisper of numbers. The foretelling of cards. Hmm. <laughs> I've heard that divination via app is all the rage these days. Yet, this is just a supplementary tool. To hear one's speech, to venture into their hearts, to glimpse their memories. That's where the most precise truths are revealed. It also says at bottom here, uh, VA Aaron Zek. I don't really know who's that, but uh, she's doing an amazing job as Black Swan. <laughs> wow. Chat Lytro. One's existence, only a scant number of impactful memories. Pain, joy, rage, and sorrow can be harvested. The Garden of Recollection was conceived with the preservation of such memories in mind. Yet, it isn't immune to the corporation's endeavor to openly profit from it. <laughs> hobbies. Do you have any hobbies, uh, Black Swan? If I can identify and encapsulate a fragment of memory before it's unveiled to the world, 
Those solitary moments of delight are my most favored and unique memories. Nice. And, and about annoyances? It's undeniable being without a physical body has its perks. But when moving through the world in the form of a mimetic entity, the danger of forsaking one's self becomes apparent. Okay. Sharing pure land. The most luminous and lavish memories are to be sheltered in the pure land of recollection. In the tales whispered among the memo keepers, Fuli will blend these recollections into the Eden of blessed insight. And they shall serve to reshape the entirety of the world after its annihilation. Hmm. Mimetic Entity. The day I became a mimetic entity, I saw my own corporeal body dissolve. People's memories precipitating, crystallizing, and then shattering in the flow of time. They gleamed with such brilliance. As if they were crystals with boundless facets. It was in that moment I grasped that everything is transient, but memories are eternal. True. Knowledge? A few memo keepers prefer to covertly penetrate others' thoughts, capriciously reshaping their memories. But I harbor no liking for such deeds. Only the recollections that remain untouched by others carry true essence and are treasurable. Anything contrary is just the imposition of another's thought. About me. <laughs> Perhaps there will come a day when you willingly share your memories with me. I eagerly await such a time. About... Ooh. Oh, she's talking about everyone. <laughs> she's talking about everyone. Okay, uh, about Atron. Avoid entering someone's past memories lightly, especially hers. Avoid entering someone's past memories lightly, especially hers. Okay, so maybe it's not better not to uh, do anything regarding that. When exploring opportunities. One, such as he, a gambler, will never reject your overtures. Gratify his whims, but also keep your defenses up. Right. About Sparkle. Hmm. A fascinating young girl. She won't admit it, but I imagine she's always yearned to be noticed by others. <laughs> Her mind is the most chaotic place I've ever witnessed. But it also possesses the strongest tool of all. Intuition. Intuition. March 7th. Even if her past is a forgotten whisper, and she was once bewildered about her future, March's experiences will undoubtedly transform into unique memoria. It's exciting to think just what memories she might bestow upon the Garden of Recollection. Okay, I'm not going to read it. anything regarding this specifically, which is uh, I want to see it for myself. As for her combat voices, Destiny's course is becoming apparent. Okay. Such an elusive foretelling. Turn begins. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. What would you like to know this time? Continue or remain in the dark. Basic attack. Here. All yours. Again, the ill tidings manifest. The seal of ill fate descends. Mind your manners. Mm -hmm. Attribution will find you. Memories are ever changing. <laughs> Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss. <laughs> okay. Uh, downed. Time's passage is unkind. Returned to battle. <gasps> Only memories remain eternal. Help recovery. Destiny's hand has truly blessed me. Technique. Make a wish. Battle Another one. Precious memory to hold on to. Treasure. Fate. 
A sincere heart prevails. Precious treasure opening. Destiny gifts, unexpected joys. Exceptionally deciphered. The power of wisdom and memory. A foreboding sign. This place holds such fond memories. Care to reminisce? Alright. So, <laughs> not going to read her story just yet. I want the actual game, uh, I mean the story, uh, to tell me all about it. So now, if I go to Plax 1... Can ascend. I recall some enchanting moments. And right, file. Okay, so now I can put three of those. So Blatt's one, obviously. Confirm this. As for the Star Faring Companions. Going to get rid of this. Going to choose them. Um, Going to run mate. Doctor Ratio. Topaz and Hua Hua. Uh, 